Hey guys, welcome back to episode 45 of our Tech at Light playthrough. Last episode we left off, we worked on our iron production. We actually used some UU matter to make us up some iron. And last episode you guys also gave me some great comments on, you know, a better, maybe more efficient way of doing so. And today what we're going to be working on is a little bit of that and possibly hopping in to our factory. So let's go ahead and get started for today. Alright, so you guys can go ahead and see real quick, you know, I'll probably noticed just a minute ago that, uh, hey, Bentley, there's a new building in town. And yes, there is. This is going to be our factory. You guys are going to be like, what? <laughs> Reason why? Maybe? Because it's so small? Possibly. Because it's made out of stone brick and it has no features? Probably. Uh, Reason why? This is just a structure right now, guys. Uh, we might need to expand it a little bit later on. And we are not going to do the speed build just yet, mainly because we just finished doing a speed build last episode and not want to do those every single time, because they do take up a little while. So I went ahead and just made up a nice little structure for us to work with in our factory, just kind of see about uh, getting a little layout going inside and to keep us a little bit safe from bad things. Alright, so let's go ahead and walk on over here and uh, see what I was talking about just a minute ago. You guys were saying that there were a few things actually that you guys brought up. For one, you guys recommended using scrap boxes, so I'm thinking about a way to uh, make us some scrap boxes. Basically, it's nine scrap, just filling it up in a crafting table, uh, you know, all nine squares, and it makes one scrap box. And you guys said that it's supposed to be a little bit more efficient, so I might go ahead and try that, and I think there might be a way for us to do this uh, quite efficiently. Uh, by the way, this does not work. This uh, little lever here, if I flip this on, it actually turns the igneous extruder on, and it turns the recycler on, so... Uh, pretty pretty nifty little gadget there. <laughs> the lever. Who created that? Caveman. Lol. Nonetheless, uh, we have our mass fabricator here too. And then it's pumping out our UU matter coming into here. So uh, we, I went ahead and set up this pattern right in here. Tried it for a second and it did pump out a diamond. Uh, nonetheless, right here. But we need to get rid of, wind up getting rid of our electric furnace and our macerator as we won't really need, be needing that as we upgrade this. Now you guys might not be like, oh Bentley, we don't want to see that. Well, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to be working on this all episode. This is only going to take just a few minutes. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, then we'll head on over and start working in there. Uh, we also need a means of transporting the iron out of this building into our factory because we're going to need that. And we'll also need a means of transporting the wood out. So we're probably going to use some phase transport pipes and some mechanisms <laughs> mechanisms in order to uh, allow us to you know, uh, dictate when we need to go ahead and start the transfer. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and get started here now. Coming out of here, this is fine. Now let's go ahead and break this. Oh, you sure skeleton. I don't need to hear you. And we shouldn't need all this power over here. Alright, so I'm going to clean that up down there. That'll give us a chance to get this back. Get all this fanciness right here back. Go and pick up our uh, furnace here. Pick this guy up. I'm going to go ahead and leave the gold pipe right there. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and pipe it into here. Actually, no, we can't. Darn it. We actually need some more of these uh, MK2s. So uh, I'm going to have to go back and get some more of these made up because I'm going to now need the minium stones. So I'm probably going <laughs> to have to find a way to start getting some more minium stones. Hmm. See, I did like this method because you know, I didn't have to use minium stones in order to keep it going. Uh, but these things should last quite a long time. So this method might not be so bad. All right, let me go ahead and head on over and get some of those made up real quick. Alright, so we're over here. I'm just going to go ahead and make up some uh, automatic crafting tables real fast. Let's go ahead and grab our wooden transport pipes back. Probably going to need those here in a minute. So we got our automatic crafting tables. Let's go ahead and head on back and see what we can't do. Alright, and making our way back. You're going to notice that I also made up another medium voltage solar array for our iron production here. Just basically for our UU matter. Alright, so now we got these guys. Let's go ahead and plop these guys down like we always do. Send it that, that way. And so now we're going to need two minium stones. So let's go ahead and grab two of them. And place our diamond in here. There we go. And a minium stone. 
There we go. So then it's going to go ahead and make four gold ingots. So it's ready to go. Now we're just going to need to pipe that out. I'm going to pipe it out into one more. Automatic crafting table MK2. And we're going to transform that gold. Whoops. Jordan, I pull out. We're going to transform that gold into. There we go. So we're going to transform that gold into iron axe and then the. Uh, <laughs> uh, put the gold in and uh, just made some gold nuggets. Kind of finicky. Got to be careful with that. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our wooden transport pipe out. Plop our aunt target gate on top of that and send this on over. There we go. Oops. Got to be careful on what you right click on these guys with. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put these guys on an automatic pulser here. There we go. So that's pretty much ready to go. Now look at it. It's, going, it's already making pretty quick. I think it's a lot more efficient this way. As you can see, it's making a lot of iron. Oh, you shush. Quiet, you. You ain't getting no sugar from me. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this and watch this guy work. So, basically, we have five pieces of UU matter in here. And let's go ahead and plop you on real quick. Let's get you to make some more scrap for us real fast. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some more uh, overclockers in there real quick. I don't think it's going to make it any faster, but nonetheless, I'm just going to throw it in there. I think I might actually have some scrap in my bag somewhere. Oh, yeah. guess not. I thought I did. I thought I had some extra earlier and threw it in there, but I guess I didn't. All right, nonetheless, we're going to plop this guy on. I'm going to go ahead and let him work for a minute. And I know it's going to work kind of slow, but i got plenty of power down here. I'm just going to kind of let him work and do his thing real quick. I just wanted to make some more UU matter. Actually, I might actually just run on over to the house or the work shed real quick and pick us up some more UU matter. So let me go do that real quick. Alright, so what I'm going to do also is I'm going to grab us up another recycler here. I'm not really needing this right now because right now I'm kind of void piping all of the uh, the cobblestone and generally it would make its way over here that and the dirt and the gravel but uh, I think I could probably set this up later to where I won't need so much but uh, let me go ahead and just take another one of these uh, basically on the last episode I took one of these out oh it's not one to, there we go well darn it yeah it's so the last episode I actually uh, grabbed that one right there but uh, I can get make some more up later also made up another automatic crafting table real quick for scrap box usage. And we'll probably wind up using redstone engine just because I don't have any more on target gates. But uh, I can make some more of those up later. Alright, here we go. So we're back in here. Now let's see what we have. Now also, oops, got to be careful there, Bentley. You almost uh, picked up your mass fabricator and you didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and turn him on real quick. Let him do his thing with some, uh, some scrap. And we're going to throw in five more of these so it's going to send out a diamond of course you guys know how equivalent exchange works but I just want to thank the guys that actually thought about this so that one diamond is going to sit there and it's going to make these uh minimum stones should last a lot longer too so you can see just doing that basically one diamond is going to make us half a stack of iron which is uh, <laughs> a lot more efficient than uh, making us five pieces of UU matter that's going to make us four pieces of iron Instead, we're just going to add four more pieces of UU matter, and it's going to make us basically half a stack of iron. So, a little bit more worth it in my case. Uh, let's see. So, let's go ahead and see about working on getting this started. Now, let's plop this guy right here and get us our crafting table out. Now, I'm probably going to actually have to break him and let's actually get rid of that. What's on? Oh, that's the outside of the building. That's actually all right. That should be all right. And in the meantime, I'm going to use a redstone engine. Actually, oh, I didn't know I had some more target gates. Never mind. <laughs> I take that back. I thought I got rid of all of them. But you know what? Actually, no, I take that back. 
<laughs> Changing my mind. Can't can't keep my mind straight. I am going to use one of these just because it is hidden, and I think it'll be okay. So we're going to plop one down right there, and plop ourselves down. This guy should be able to right-click on him like that. Now we're going to need a means of keeping him going, so let's go ahead and get us a redstone torch, maybe? There we go. Now will keep this guy always on. If I can get it down in there. What she said. All right, there we go. All right, now Scrap is actually <laughs> making its way out. It's, uh, more than what it needs, actually. Actually, it doesn't need. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this guy up like so. Let's go ahead and close the door. So now we're pretty much ready and good to go. Once we get enough scrap, it's gonna basically come in here, make ourselves a scrap box, and once I get me an on-target gate on there, actually, never mind, take that back. <laughs> I forgot I had that engine on there. It's gonna put our scrap box in the bottom of here, and this is actually, I think, what the scrap box does. Ah, so you can see the amplifier is a lot bigger. Makes sense. That'll work. So I'm just gonna let, oop, I'm gonna let it sit there and do that, and make us quite a bit of uh, scrap, so it can make us some scrap boxes. I think that'll be awesome. And I'll go ahead and fill that up, and when we're ready for it, we can just turn it on, and it'll make us a whole bunch of iron. Awesome backup system, and all thanks to you guys. And I really appreciate that little tip you guys gave me. So let me go ahead and put some of this away, and we're going to take a look on how we're going to get this out of here. So I'm going to bust this up real quick. We're going to do this underneath both of them. Just that way, we have some room to work with. So let me go ahead and take a look in here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of these golden transport pipes out. All right, so I have one phased transport pipe left. Hmm. So how do I want to get this to work? I have one left. I'm probably going to have to make some more up anyway. But I think I might have a way to make this work in my favor to where I won't need to use two, per se. So... Let me go ahead and grab that, and I'm going to probably still need a few more phase transport pipes. So let me go ahead and head on back to the shed and get us some more of that made up. All right, so we got our gold gears making up right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make up our diamond gears that we're gonna need. We're gonna need two of those. Put the diamonds that I had back in there. So I know where they're at because I got a few in here. But I'm gonna grab some pieces of glass. Put that away, put that away. Don't need all this gunk on me. So let's go ahead and put our diamond gears on the side. Glass in the center. I guess I grabbed too many. And that's going to give us four phased transport pipes. So now we have five. Awesome. All right, now, let's see, we got that. I have a toggle latch. Do I have any? I guess not. Thought maybe I had some uh, red iron or red alloy ingots made up. So I'm going to go ahead and make up some of those real quick. I'm going to toss that in there. Oh, it's still charcoal. <laughs> Can't ever seem to get rid of the three pieces of charcoal. All right, so I'm going to mix up some red iron ingots. I'm just going to grab me some redstone and a few pieces of iron, about nine pieces. And just going to throw that in there. We're going to let that cook up real quick and I'll make up some more red alloy wiring. Also, in the meantime, I'm uh, making ourselves up some more automatic crafting tables. Just a uh, regular automatic crafting table. I don't think I'm going to need any other ones. So I made up some gears real quick. There we go. That should be enough for now. I'll go ahead and take the gears just in case. I'm sick of having, not having any wood on me, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there too. There we go. So these should be just about done. Looks like I need one more piece of redstone. Toss that in there real quick. Let that go. And I think we're pretty much good to go. To head over there once we get this done. There we go. Now let's go ahead and make up our red alloy wiring. There we go. That should be plenty. All right, let's go ahead and make our way back over. All right, so I made our way back over here and I just looked in our mass fabricator. It looks like we have three scrap boxes already. 
So this guy is working uh, pretty efficiently. I could actually probably add another one or two of these and probably be okay just because of the amount of time it takes to make a, the uh, scrap boxes here. But uh, like I said, this will be a good backup for us. And I think we are going to need us a little way of uh, you know, preventing overflow when we aren't using this. So, hmm. Let me do some thinking on that. Maybe you guys have some ideas. I know you guys are going to be saying, uh, you know, using filters and pneumatic piping, but uh, I'm trying to think of something along the lines of build craft and not so much of the uh, pneumatic pipes, or at least. <laughs> so, let's see. We're going to need some wooden transport pipes, which I guess I am out of. But as long as I have some glass, I should be okay. Ah, here we are. Got a little bit of glass. Got a little bit of wood. Let's go ahead and use our minium stone. Uh, whoops. Hey, I've forgotten my, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I uh, rearranged my key binding for that, so it was a different key bind than normal. Uh, generally, y'all's would be C, I believe. And I changed mine. There we go. So, there we go, that's that. Now, I'm thinking about utilizing redstone engines, but I'm thinking I don't have a way to make that look good with how I have these guys sat in here. So, I'm going to use on target gates instead. Now, let's go ahead and hook these guys up to the golden transport pipe. Actually, let's just make our way over to the other side. That way we... Got a little extra room in here to work with. There we go. Nice little area to play around in now. Alright, so what I've been thinking to go ahead and set this up for us to basically use only one transport pipe here. So I'm going to clear out just a little bit of space here. And thankfully for our power glove, we can actually do that relatively quick. Even if it wasn't dirt. Alright, so what I'm thinking is doing this. Oops, well, not really that, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna have these guys come to the center and meet. And we're gonna open up our bag. And we're gonna look for. You know what? This diamond transport pipe will work just fine. Now, you guys are gonna be saying iron. That's fine. Iron would work too. Iron transport pipe would work as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Just because uh, I can. Alright, so this is basically how it's going to work. And we're going to... Oops, not do that. I'm going to need a piece of iron. So I need to get out. Oop, let me up. There we go. So I'm just going to shift left click to get one piece of iron. That way we can tell our diamond transport pipe here to send it out on blue. There we go. So basically anytime it comes out through this one, it's gonna basically just send iron through that way. If it comes out this way, it's gonna send iron that way. So no matter what, iron's gonna go that way. All right, now we have that set up. Now let's go ahead and get our red alloy wiring out. And let's go ahead and clear a little bit of this out here. And I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I would hope so. Let me go ahead and hop and get us another lever real quick. I just want to see something. Ah, it does work. There we go. That'll be just fine. All right, basically, I haven't set that up just yet, so... Wait, it's still pumping out. Is it? No, it stopped. All right, good. All right, let's go ahead and put that back in there. There we go. So let's go ahead and get rid of this then. Actually, is that gonna turn on? Okay. All right, so that is gonna work. So I'm gonna take this red alloy wiring. We're gonna just place this guy like so. And we should be able to do the same thing on this one. Right? Put it right there.
and right in here we are going to use this toggle latch there we go now I am gonna need my screwdriver for this so crunch your fingers do I have it Ah, there we are and there's that so awesome so you can see basically if I right clicked on this it would uh, switch uh, the redstone signal to send that way which would turn on this one and this one well being this way you can see it's on so that's working the way I want it to so I'm gonna go ahead and pluck that guy up we're gonna look in our bags here if you remember episode or so ago we actually made up some uh, wireless receivers and transmitters we're gonna take the receiver that we made up we're gonna plop it down right there we're gonna switch it out to this right way there we go so basically when we get our control room made up and basically once we get our control room made up uh, we'll have a switch that basically says we need emergency iron and when we click that switch it's going to send a wireless signal out to this which is going to toggle this onto this side sending iron this way if we need it so uh, it's going to work pretty nifty I think now let's go ahead oops go ahead and set this guy up real quick this guy should start pumping out some iron actually might not Oop, there he goes so I'm going to turn that redstone signal off real quick There we go. So he should be done. But that is basically the gist of how we want that, I believe. All right. So generally, I'm going to have this guy always on, right? Um, I have this turned off right now, just because because we don't have it going anywhere. The iron that is just yet. And what's going to wind up turning this light on when we do need it is this switch, basically, right here, which will activate the uh, wood to come in and start sending out through our little production line here to make some iron there now that's one way and this is right so everything's good here it's gonna fly up out uh, I guess I don't have my I guess I keep throwing my marble out into my chests back at the shed so uh, I'll have to come back through here and clean this up a little bit later but I think we're okay now so let's go ahead and get out of there buddy Good. head on over to our factory area and I'm not sure we're gonna make our control center yet I was thinking about making it in our factory but I'm not quite sure yet now I was hoping to get mine factory working but uh, as far as the texture pack goes because there's some pretty cool stuff in there like conveyor belts but my texture pack is kinda messed up right now uh, we should have an update coming very soon so hopefully we'll get that fixed and we can uh, use some mine factory uh, conveyor belts to kind of move stuff around in here I think that would be pretty neat all right nonetheless we do need to go ahead and get started in here so uh, first things first let's go ahead and work on the the production for the iron real quick and that's basically gonna come in in one area like this so we're gonna send this just just to get a general idea more or less I think we're just gonna kind of send this over here in fact let's just set it against the wall and we'll have it come out like this into an automatic crafting table and from there we're gonna have it pump out so right now I'm just getting this set up and that's gonna bring the iron in the iron needs to come actually let me get rid of that one I'm gonna need an automatic crafting table MK2 because I need a saw so I'm going to use this diamond hand saw. I actually have another one back at the shed. So that'll be all right. Actually, no, I was right. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. Sorry, guys. First of all, we need all the iron to come in here. It's going to send in here. It's going to make us a block of iron, which is then going to send out. Actually, I don't know if I really need so much golden transport pipe. So I'm just going to go ahead and save up a little bit. Uh, let's see how this works. And we're going to place our automatic crafting table MK2 out here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this properly. And we're going to pull out this side. All right. So we're going to need our diamond handsaw here. We're actually probably going to need quite a few diamond handsaws now that I think about it. Whoops. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and get us a frequency setup. I think five would be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and get five turned on. And we're gonna set it over here to, well, send only on five. There we go. So it should still have, should have an output actually. All right, it's not showing an output on here, but I, it should set up properly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bank over here. Let's take a quick little peek real fast and see what's going on. Oh, it's on four, duh. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now it's on to receive. Now we should be good to go. Let's make our way back over here real quick. Let's turn this guy on. There he goes. Awesome. Now let's also set up a frequency for our emergency here. I think that's going to be awkward. <laughs> that's uh, applying a redstone signal to my door. So I'm going to go ahead and do five as well here just uh, so we don't get too confused. Uh, what did I set that one to? Uh, think about it. I kind of forgot. All right, so I set to three and that's okay. All right, so if that's the case, let's go ahead and uh, leave that there, and we're gonna test out our emergency switch. We're probably gonna move this to the control room, but for now, uh, we're just gonna kinda do a little messing around and some testing. Now let's go ahead and do our wireless transmitter here, and looks like I got a lever here, there we go. So I'm just gonna do a little test real quick. I'm gonna place this guy right here. I'm gonna set this guy on five. Place our lever here. It should work. So basically, that should flip it to uh, bring in some more our toggle latch over there to start sending in the iron from the other side. Awesome. So that's working perfectly. So that's basically the gist of it. That's exactly what I want it to do. It's going to stop, or actually, that should stop it. So, I'm, hmm. I might have to rig up a mechanism in order for it to uh, do a double pulse like that. Maybe you guys know something like that. But uh, yeah, something basically is a double pulse. Let's just go make sure that it did flip back over real quick. All right, so we do have still iron in there. That's good. All right, so it did flip back. All right, perfect. So everything's working just the way we want it to so far. So basically now this is going to send out a block of iron here. We're gonna take this block of iron and put it in there. This is going to cut us up some iron slabs, which we're gonna send out into one more automatic crafting table, MK2. And we're going to get another, oops. we're gonna wind up getting another diamond handsaw real quick. So let me fly back over to the shed and get us one. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make us up a couple diamond handsaws. There we go. That should be good for now. Let's go ahead and head on back over. Throw this in there and see if we can't get those iron panel strips made up, or I think that's what they're called. All right, so we're back. Let's go ahead and throw our diamond handsaw in there. There we go. Actually, this goes right. Oops. Darn it. <laughs> Stop it. Finicky. All right, so I want the iron slab there. There we go. So I need to pull that out of the way. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make this back into a slab. That way we can put this guy back in here. All right, so basically, this is going to make up the iron slab strips. That is actually what we need for our windmill. Right here, you see our wooden windmill there? We actually need that right there, and that's gonna send out to the production of our windmill. So let's go ahead and get our wooden transport pipe, and we're gonna have that just send out into either I'm thinking to keep this compact, uh, but uh, you know we might actually work this out differently a little bit later uh, with if we can ever get our texture pack right and get our conveyor belts going. We might uh, actually conveyor belt it out onto uh, a production line. So, but for the time being, we'll probably just wind up doing something like that until we uh, get that fix worked out. So, basically, we have one component ready 
for our factory production of our windmill so far. If you guys have any other ideas or any tips or tricks or comments you guys uh, might have for this, you know, you guys know quite a bit as well, and I, <laughs> I admire all of you guys for helping me out, and I appreciate it a lot, because uh, like I said, and I always say, you guys aren't just helping me out, you're actually helping out a lot of other people that don't know how to do all this, so, you know, as a community, we're actually working together to get this working properly and, you know, showing people how to do some pretty neat stuff and maybe even get some ideas of their own to make their own little neat contraption, so... Uh, that's it for me this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. You're always welcome to, to share your opinions down in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys have any tips, tricks, or comments, like I said, you're always welcome to put them in the comment section below. If you guys would also rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And then until next time, guys, we'll see you then. Goodbye.